Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Well, as the weather finally starting to heat up across our area, it's always important to keep water safety in mind. Yes, and joining us this morning for our community conversations is Chandra Edwards with the Drowning Prevention Coalition of El Paso. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. Oh, it's my pleasure. All right, so something that every parent wants to know, and just in general, what can you do to keep, keep kids safe during the summer? Right, so there's several things that parents can do. The number one thing is to realize that kids are really attracted to water, um, whether that be their backyard pool or, you know, some of the canals get filled with water during yeah. the summer. And so to be aware of that, the number one thing they can do is to get swim lessons. Um, even infants as young as six months old can uh, learn how to, to turn themselves upwards in the water so that they aren't at risk of drowning. And of course, it's all about layers of prevention. So you want to always be aware where your kids are around water. You want to designate a water watcher um, to watch over your kids if you're having a pool party or something and everybody's having a good time. Have one person whose only job is to watch the water and watch the kids and make sure that they're safe. Okay. Some really good tips there. And when it comes to our local water parks, because there's plenty of them, a lot of people like to go there who maybe don't have pools at their home and they can get pretty crowded. Can you talk to us a little bit about safety when it comes to those specific areas? Sure, and what's great about the water parks and of course um, the city and pools and things is that they do have lifeguards. So that is a big help, um, but it's also really important for the parents to uh, be aware that the lifeguards can't see everything all the time. And the parents need to be with their kids, especially if they're not strong swimmers. Um, life jackets is always a great option, you know, for kids who haven't learned how to swim or who aren't strong swimmers. Be aware that kids um, can get tired, you know, in the sun, um, just splashing around in the water all day. Right. And again, to just really pay attention to their kids and make sure that they're you know safe in the water and there are certain flotation devices and floaties that kids can and can't use right does that depend on age size and can you talk to us a little bit about that right so u.s coast guard approved life jackets are really the only safe flotation devices okay. you know a lot of times um, parents have like these water wings or things like that and they can provide a sense of comfort to the child but it's really not a safety device it does not um, aid in preventing drowning so okay. You know, and we've been um, doing some stories on just kids with autism as we are starting to see more kids be diagnosed with um, autism spectrum disorder. Can you talk a little bit about, I guess, when it comes to kids who do have those special needs and the importance of checking water as well because they specifically do love the water also? Yes, yeah, so again, in, in those circumstances, um, you know, it's very important to be aware of where water might be accessible and to make sure that that water is fenced off and isn't accessible, you know, even in the um, winter months. You know, that's something that parents tend to forget that right. the kids might still be attracted to water in the winter months or the bathtub or things like that around the home. And if they do go, you know, to public places, it's always a good idea to let the lifeguards know or to let supervisors know of the special needs that your child does have. Absolutely. And lastly, what type of resources does the Drowning Coalition provide for parents? Where can they go? Is your website phone number? Yes, that's the dpcelpaso.org. And there, there's links to lots of different um, videos and um, resources for getting those um, very important swimming lessons. Um, we at Wet n Wild will be hosting one on June 20th. It's called the World's Largest Swimming Lesson. And the Drowning Prevention Coalition of El Paso all comes together uh, to help promote that event that swimming lessons save lives. Awesome. awesome. Such, such some, a good event. Yes, and some very great tips there as well. Some great insight. Thank you so much for being here with us well, today. Thank you so much. We yes. really appreciate the opportunity to to let people know. Thank you so much. You can watch this full interview on kfoxtv.com as well as past community conversations. We'll be right back after this short break.